Just for reference, this board is 12 inches wide. And there ain't many that aren't measuring across. channel everybody we are doing some crappie dangling today I am in the middle of the country right now I'm up here in Missouri as you guys know I, I love bass fishing I I've developed an equal love for crappie fishing over the last couple of years it's just an awesome hidden little gym the people that do it some of them are hardcore like like Kyler here and there's others like me that are looking to learn, and I'm sure a lot of you watching right now are looking to learn. So we're gonna learn some techniques, we're gonna do live scoping and all that. It is currently about 28 degrees. We're gonna throw on the, the bibs. Of course, we're gonna keep, just keep some crappie, put them in the grease, and make gold crispies. It's the best thing ever. So, let's get suited up, let's get out on the lake, let's get to snatch some crappie. Tyler Beckman right here. Howdy, howdy. For this, this month in February, what are the main couple patterns that people should be looking for? When creek, they're channels. Up? creek channels. Creek channels. Um, spend your time in the creeks, any kind of feeder creeks. Um, deep water close by. Yep, deep water close by, and, and you can catch them in the creek channels. They'll be on structure, they might be out in the open. Fish that are in the open, I, I usually just pass them up because they're, they're hard to catch. And just a little bit, we were talking this morning, uh, Kyler was talking about being able to catch those fish on the run, essentially, yep. which is insane to me. If you always think about crappie, you know, you're giving it a dangle straight over a brush pile or a tree or something like that. Uh, sometimes they're not on that stuff. Sometimes they're just kind of hovering around. I'm just gonna follow him, follow his hands around what he's doing, and I'm, I'm gonna ask him questions as we go so you guys can learn. So, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Be fun. And we'll all learn. I've got a little bit of dip in my toes, but I think I'll make it. Be oh, fine. crap, you did. Oh, yeah, toes. no, I'm good. Crocs, babe. I got good socks, though. I can promise you we're gonna be knocking some ice off of our line here today. This might have not been the move here. <laughs> the crop. This might have been, I, I realized the air vents, the air holes <laughs> as we were running. <laughs> it was a bad decision. All right, Kyler, what are we starting out here? In a little creek yep, with we're some in deep water in it? Feeder creek with some deeper water in it and we're just kind of going along and trying to find the right size. Right there's what I was talking about. So right there, that's some black crappie sitting way up high. And then all these ones down here <laughs> are a smaller white crappie. Dude, you are so dialed. So here's some timber over here. Yep. So some are not even close no, to some the timber. Them, they're, they're just, just out. Sitting in the creek. 24 but feet of water. All these, those are all little fish. Not what we're looking for. And mostly what you do, especially tournament fishing, is you're looking for the hog jammers and yep. you're just, you know, targeting those fish as you see them. Yep. So like during a tournament, I won't, my, I will never put my bait in the water unless I see what I believe is a big one. Sight fishing via yeah. technology. It's incredible, y'all. So I've messed around with this. I've caught crappie on live scope, but uh, the way Kyler has his set up. It's, he doesn't have his transducer on a mounted pole. He does it all with his foot. 
which surprised me when he told me that. So he is straight up controlling where that thing goes at all times so he can scan around. Yep. I've seen a lot of crappie boats set up with like a PVC pole or something in the front. But uh, you just stay on the trolling motor and I feel it's a disadvantage. If, if you're good at controlling a boat and running a trolling motor, you're way better off having it on the trolling motor. And just, you just gotta learn to fish and never take never taking your foot off the trolling motor. Like once I get up here, my foot never leaves it. There's a better one. That seems like there's a lot of crappie. In here. Oh, it's full of them. Like that, that, that's all crappie that you're seeing on that screen right now. All crappie. Now most of the feeder creeks you come into this time of year, is it gonna look like this? Yep. You'll see a lot of little ones. Yep. Every one of them that that we go into, we'll see a lot of fish in them. Somewhere in them. Now that might it might not always be all the way through it but there's always gonna be a congregation of fish in there somewhere. Well, I would call this finding them. Like if I see, if I ever see that many crappie together, I'm, I'm dropping it the first. <laughs> you haven't even dropped a jig yet, which is impressive. Starting out with an orange head. It was plain old white, winter white. That's what I always say. Must around with some colors. See if we can figure out the dealio. It's not a giant, but it's a nice fish. Oh, I see. Look at that, there's a jig. There he is. Look at that, give him a little noggin, noggin knock. Dude, that's a good profile on that baby. Oh, it's all in the settings. Come on, give it a, give it a bite. Dude, just, just <laughs> locked. Like, leave me alone, bud. That's how those hammers are, huh? Oh yeah. There she took off. Yeah. It's a sea the bud. old swim. Yep. Kind of about the um, the white, the big quarter ounce. And you're using what is this eight foot, ten foot poles? Ten foot, ten foot rods. That's so you can get out there and really. Yeah, because you know there's times where if one's just sitting there, I'll just sit there and just hang it right above them. Uh, yeah, big big advantage when you're live scoping to have the longer pole. Hooked up. Wah bam. <laughs> There's hundreds of them. Uh -huh. Thousands. Thousands. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? So is that one of those schools you're going to have to like just pick through to get the keepers? or? Oh, yeah. Those are all. All those fish are probably six eight to inches. eight inches long. It's so cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is the time, huh? This is yep. like when you catch, if you want to catch El Fate. Yep. If you want to catch a great big fat one, this is the time to come do it. I guess it's not that different than bass. Normally, you know, it's like March, but I, you know, I got I got ice on my line right now. And <laughs> <laughs> my fingers, my my toes, which I'm an idiot for wearing Crocs. These fish aren't moving. Uh -uh. They're sitting in the just, creek channel. They're just sitting out here. Not moving. We just got to find a, something little. Th there's no shad. No, it's just a whole bunch of crappie. Just, I mean, it looks like we have shad in Texas that size. We might go through 50 to 100 different baits. Experimenting. Yep. Until we find something that they'll bite pretty good. Dude, I, it, see, <clears throat> so just so far, I can tell you. This is this is really different than what I do with my live scope is I, I try to look for the biggest wad. Like what's the tree that has the biggest wad? And it's probably a little different in Texas because we have, you know, there's, in my experience, we're not catching a lot of short fish, you know? Yeah. So odds are that big school, there might be one big one down there below it, but I, I'm not like passing over wads. <laughs> to go oh there's that one big one suspended in the middle of the creek channel it's probably the hardest to catch but it's <laughs> you know a giant a 20 mile an hour wind it's kind of, oh here she comes yep yep nosing it get on that thing yeah dude that was so cool oh we watched her nose on it oh, oh no dude that was a hog oh the hog like just like you said yep. she just cocked up yep and then boom. oh no no that just is oh what <laughs> Let me get her. <laughs> what happened? She's so cold. He froze her, man, with the air temps. What happened there? <laughs> Dude, that is, that is crazy. Just stoned her. 
I don't know. I don't understand what happened there, y'all. <laughs> Beautiful white crappie. I've never seen that before. Well, she's taking a big poop. Maybe, uh, maybe she just had to pause. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sh long string. Huh. It'll eat. It'll eat. <laughs> that was cool to watch, man. <laughs> I can't believe that. Happened. So if you're at a tournament and that happens, is that you illegal? Her. You got her, yeah. That's a legal fish. Yep. There's one. Cruising for hog jammers. That's a nice fish. Just that don't happen very often. Hit right behind her. See if she's seen it. Yep, she's seen it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yep. That is a cool, nice man. size eater. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I forgot to get you on them now. <laughs> no, I'm learning, man. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love to feel a thump, but this is exactly why I wanted to go out with Kyler and just all of us learn together because uh, this is this is impressive, y'all. This is impressive. There is thousands of crappie in this creek, and a lot of them are like smaller than my hand. They're, they're tiny, and it does make it hard to pick out those big ones and stay on them because every time you turn the uh, the live scope, like you're just looking at tons of fish, so they can kind of camouflage in. But it takes a you got to really it's like hand-eye coordination mixed with technology. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's pretty awesome. What is it with crappie and pink, man? I I don't know, but they like it. They do. Yep, they like it. Um, I tried a brighter color. That's I mean, that's mainly why I put this thing on. I was wanting just something bright to stand out. Yeah, we're dealing with kind of chalky stained yep. water. Not exactly. Just clear. something to get their attention. And so far, two for two. So two for two. There's another. There's another hammer. I was taking a little pee break. That's getting to be about. The, that's better size there. That is a better. Oh my gosh. Just white crappie. <laughs> Yep, white crappie in here. Big old white one. Okay, what do you think? Dinner table or are you gonna let it go? We'll grow another day. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, you can eat that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyler's like, yeah, that, nah, that's a pork job. You won't put that one on the plate. What's your biggest crappie? Overall crappie, it was a hybrid crappie. It was a 330. Oh, yeah, that's what you were telling yeah. me. A 330 hy hybrid crappie, which hybrid. is, I, I never even heard of that until today. I mean, I assume they do interbreed but like he showed me a picture of it it's just so cool freaking nature so cool three pound crappie y'all there's there's two freshwater fishing goals of mine i want to accomplish in my lifetime a 13 pound largemouth bass share lunker and then a three pound crappie hopefully one day in my little man cave i will have both of those mounted on the wall and a smile on my face and telling all my grandchildren about it so anyway i guess i need to pick up a rod and catch fish i've been showed you guys how kyler's dominating the lake he's a, he's basically a straight up sane net but uh i gotta get my dangle on switching up quarter ounce with the chartreuse Several. yeah there's a couple of dandies well, that's, a, that's a lot of good ones but that one down in there is a really good one uh yeah that's definitely the biggest wad We've I seen. haven't seen that in a long time. A wad that's actually got several good fish in it. Got her. <laughs> Ooh, action shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little flop. You see how pale they are, but that's a, that's a black crappie. I would never even know. Yeah. Because of the distinct lateral line? Well, Is that what and you're like, so black crappie, they have just random specks and spots and you'll see this more like once we put her in live well at the end of the day she'll be all colored back up cool yep we'll be able to, you'll be able to pick out the black ones from the white ones oh god yes <laughs> yeah buddy <laughs> There we go. I've seen you been tearing them up. Heck yes, yeah, man. There you go. First one. <laughs> That's awesome. That was cool, man. That was cool.
I just I brought the bait up literally like he's done a dozen times now and just it's like right over their back just literally trying to like trace yep. their back with the bait it's crazy like how precise it is and then she turned around and then started coming at it and then tilted up and <clears throat> this is a bigger jig than what I normally use but a lot easier to control that bigger quarter ounce jig head I'm going to wind it right on up yep. perfect there you go here we go come on darling oh you're going to get her Got it. oh <laughs> dude she just nipped <laughs> nipped there you go oh that was a hog jam oh, it was a big one all right guys here we go 14. dropping it down i hit about two foot behind her yep yep okay Come on, baby. Dragging over. She's coming up. Got her. <laughs> Why, <Wow>, bam, dude. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, Just like that. That's awesome. a pretty good one. Like yeah. That. Feels like she's got a little meat to her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hog jammer, dude. Hooked good. Yep, she's hooked good. Yeah, get up in the Oh, room. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was sweet to watch. Pick, That's the right size. Picking out the hogs. <laughs> From the deeps on the graph to his jig into the boat that is awesome to watch you guys got to smash that like button that's a 14 all day oh yeah yeah that's, that's 14 and a half maybe that's that's a, that's what i like to call a full grown one that is full grown what we got in here well, there's not a whole lot of little bitties no, there. we got pretty mainly all all bigger ones i mean hell that's a pretty good one there our smallest is probably a 11 yeah. incher, maybe. That One, two, awesome. three, four, five, six, seven. It's coffee. Dude, I love it. The Stanley. The old Stanley. Warm cup. Catch a couple of hogs and break out a good cup of coffee. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I like your style. <laughs> Pick out the bigger ones. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. She's going. Get it. That big. <laughs> Just pick shopping. one up and catch it. <laughs> Crappie shopping, baby. Yep. Here she comes. Yep. Come on. She gonna get it. There we go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Oh, dude, that's a little one, too. Do it, baby. Go get it. She did a shimmy on oh. it. She did a shimmy. I did, saw it. Did the shimmy and said, nah, no thanks. <laughs> So right there, is your, how, did you see her shake on there? So that's whenever she realized that there was something around her. Felt it in her yep. lateral lines. She felt me popping it like that. And you know, it, it usually goes one or two ways. Either they, they turn around and just inhale it, or they take off like she just did. That's why I always try dead sticking and swinging it by them first and not using a whole lot of action at all. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll try popping it. Uh... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Get up here. Get up here. Good. Oh, nothing, action nothing but toads. <laughs> Some want to play, <laughs> some don't. That's a golden crispy. That is a golden crispy. The more you do this, eventually, like whenever you're, whenever you're sweeping. Yeah. Like I said, I don't even watch that arrow anymore. I know right where to pitch just from how my foot's positioned. Okay. Yeah. And like when the wind's blowing, you're asking me about that a little bit. Oh, hold on. I can't do two things at once. I want to watch this. Yep. Yep. Get it. Oh, 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 she's coming. She got it. Yes. 
Oh, it's a little one, dude. Oh, I thought it was big. So something I just realized, this, the, your trolling motor, which I used to have this trolling motor, mm -hmm. it's cable, it's straight cable. You straight can make cable. micro yep. little adjustments and then it's, it's smooth. So like whenever, you need. whenever your bait's falling down or my bait, whoever's bait, and if I'm running it, I'm just barely moving this thing back and forth to watch the bait, to watch yeah. the fish. And the key is to get your bait as bright as possible and have the fish as bright as possible. That's whenever you know that you're dead on the money. Yeah, and, and, and I, I finally like got, got the hang of it there where bait. I could follow it as there, there we were drifting, you know? That's... Doink! Get up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right in the schnoozle. <laughs> See that one sitting right Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a hog. That's a big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> what a beaut. Ooh, that's a big Is that Nancy down there? That that's is, Nancy. That is a full grown one. Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little belly right there. Get a little bit of it. <sighs> oh. This is. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Don't eat it. <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we got here. Ooh. Good. <laughs> Ooh. Slurpee. That, my friends, is just, it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, we've only been out here a couple hours, and we've amassed at least a one-man limit now, and we're working on limit number two. They're just all hammers because that's what we're, we don't even cast unless it is one. Here's what the live wells are looking like. So this is live well number two. And then that one's done, done been fooled up. I mean, just hammers. And the one thing that's really hard when you're doing this is you're watching the fish swim towards your bait or watching it react. So you're learning a lot, but when you see one just kind of get get active and swim towards it, you almost set the hook as they're coming. Like you, you set it too early, so you really have to let them get it before you pull I hold into my them. Breath. Huh? <laughs> I hold my breath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's the anticipation of like, oh, I want to feel the thump. I've missed a couple doing that. You got, you got to just settle down. I might finish up in here. I don't know. It's, it's happening kind of fast going really well with the old same net up here Kyler boom <laughs> well, we got a oh whoa, wait, got wait a, a second here we got a fighter you got a catfish or a crappie she thinks she's something special just another <laughs> one of them <laughs> mm -mm -mm. that's going good oh it's gonna be delicious want me to escort it yeah, to put, its final resting place with her buddies. Oh man. <sighs> Fun times. Alright, got it back here. Little one ate it. Oh, <laughs> little guy. Oh no! Had it, dude. <laughs> had it. Rod loaded up in everything. Oh. When they're shallow doing this, it's you can. It's easy to catch them still. When they get down there deep like this, though, it's really hard to get your bait down there in time. I'm getting closer to that one. All right, fish. I've chased you all the way across this thing. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> Started in way back there and finally got her caught. That's too awesome. <laughs> this, this is the craziest thing. Is like we haven't touched, we haven't caught a fish near a piece of tip. Mm -mm. All open. I mean, we got all of these trees in here, which are loaded with yeah. crappie. Yeah, I mean, they're all loaded with them just the the hammers are out there mm -hmm. 
where you normally would just never catch them. There's a decent one on that tree. That is a, that is a good one there. Yep. Oh, do your little yeah. dance. Oh. Do your little dance. She's coming. Oh. She's way more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, one of them probably. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, a little one. Just pop me. Oh, oh yep. Yep. Hammer time. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Wham. <laughs> Whammer jam. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at those head shakes. <laughs> Got to love it. Oh yes. You just see that little follow and then you're like, <laughs> oh no. Oh. No. What happened, man? The old paper mouth came oh. off on me. I got to talking to the camera. You, you know got to me? talking. Oh gosh Swing. dang. I tried to build the answer. She wasn't there. Yep. You seen it? Yep. She ate it. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know how to feel that, dude. Oh my gosh! I was waiting. I was like, I should feel a thump right now, but I haven't felt anything. Yeah, whenever you see them flare, <laughs> and they go to it, they just they just oh, ate it. Holy cow! That is. Told amazing. you. I was that is amazing. I did too. not. I did, folks. I've been fishing for a while. I have braid on. I did not feel that bite. Yeah, I mean, you got the most sensitive set yeah, yeah, there is. Braid and a light rod. Is that so. floral on the end? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, that's as sensitive as you can get. And I still could not feel that. My goodness. How many how many crappie you think you've missed over the years? <laughs> you didn't even know it. I, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, like, bass, too. I'm sure they oh, do I'm, the I, same I, thing. I they do. Uh, I've tried, like, Six or seven times. And oh, you just got her. <laughs> got her. Got her on the move, dude. Oh my goodness. That was a pretty that was a pretty good little little dangle. Mean one. That was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, I feel accomplished. <laughs> you got her did. Yeah, I got her did. I saw her coming like under the trolling motor and I was like, I'm just gonna drift my rod left. I wasn't even paying attention. And then I, I was looking at the screen, I was like, Oh, you're right on that fish. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh starting to get a little full in here. That's it. Oh yeah. Here she comes. Yep. <laughs> Got it. Wild well, bam. Yeah, real funny piece, so. <laughs> Best of luck, yeah. Wow, man. That's a dandy on the 10 footer. Oh my gosh, look at that big old pole just bend down. That's fun times. Oh, oh hog jammer. Oh, that was cool, man. That was perfect. That was cool. Perfect. Just, you gotta have like a little, little lead in. Yep. Couple feet. Yep. That's the deal. That was perfect. Executed perfect. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm stepping up my game. Thanks to Kyler. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Just a bunch of clones. <laughs> Not a, exactly a little one. <laughs> but... My little's kind of big. Uh, whatever, whatever you say. <laughs> or is that Shad? That was my bubbles. Oh, it's your bubbles. Got her. Dude, got her. That is amazing, man. That is a flat out amazing. Like that, fi that fish was on that tree right there. I boo booed it up, messed up on the trolling motor. Fish swims out here 20, 30 feet. You chase it down and you're like, no, you're not getting away. Little black one. Got you. Yeah, I was about to say it. Yep. It looks different. Yep, black crappie. <sighs> Abs <laughs> absolute hammer, Kyler is. Dead sticking. Got her. Just holding it. And Just hold on. As still as you can possibly hold it. it that's, uh, I've seen you do that a lot. Mm -hmm. Get it down there and just hold it. I'm gonna throw these out. Let's see how many we got yeah. in. Love to see it. To the last fish. Kyler said I gotta catch it, so I'm not gonna not gonna deny 
what he wants here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's a whopper. <laughs> That's a good one. The ender on. Yeah. Mm. Kind of floated it. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, <it's> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Last crappie of the limit right there. Heck yeah. That good. is that is 30 bruisers in the box. Wow. Pale white crappies in the deeps. Got to love it, baby. Look at them doodles right there. Good day. Looks like this is 16 of our best crappie right here. The average size, I think, is probably like, what? 12? Yeah, probably 12. Right around 12. Keys for today. I'm going to I'm gonna start the first one. Go for it. Which was you. <laughs> <laughs> Kyler uh, getting on the fish. I mean, he's dialed, but also boat control so key yep. i learned a lot today just just on boat control and running the electronics what were the other couple of keys i mean pretty much nailed it boat control is very very important and then just knowing where to place the bait you know that's that's really important yeah you taught me so the when i first was flipping out there i was going right on top of the fish don't want to do that you want to kind of lead them a little bit yep and like draw it's like you're drawing over their back you want to bring it in front of their face yeah and the graph's so clear you can see which way they're facing yeah so if the fish is sitting in there like that you just want to come just right and just follow it right around follow it over the ridge of their back and then some sometimes they would turn sometimes they would come out and eat it sometimes they would just sit there mm -hmm. and then the dead stick seemed to be the deal you just let it sit yep. there and then eventually it's like you know cat and mouse so just we're gonna go clean these up, and um, you know, eventually they're gonna go in the grease. And we got even more action to come. Um, if people want to go fishing with you, you got any open days? I do. I do have open days. Uh, you can give me a call at 573-789-3263, and that's Kyler Beckman's Guide Service LLC. Okay, you're putting your number on the internet. I'm I just doing want it, you man. To know that. I'm doing okay, it. Okay, you're putting it out I'm there. I'm doing it. Well, yeah, if you guys want to come catch some hammers, select this you, and learn live scoping, learn all of that. That's really more what it's about, honestly, for me. But we're going out again tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go to some dirtier water and try to find some even bigger fish than these ones. <laughs> Hard to believe, <laughs> but I'm excited about that too, y'all. This is, this is really a lot like bass fishing. If you like bass fishing, like sight fishing, target casting, it's basically what we did today. So you can unlock your local lake near you and still do still have a really fun time in the winter catching fish yeah. like this so thanks guys for tuning in if you want to see more you know what to do subscribe right here go ahead and smash that like button for catching mondo crappies and we'll see you right here on the next see ya